Well, there are lots of challenges uh, in urban landscaping. Many of them have to do with soils, compacted soils, soils that are kind of devoid of uh, biological activity. There are lots of factors that make cities a, a difficult site for plants. So we're looking for ways to insert as much nature as possible into a very dense urban setting and to use some of the latest thinking and sustainability and applying that, uh, those goals to our landscapes. I'm George Reyes, I'm landscaping supervisor at NYU. First, you try to go organic as much as you possibly can. So try to deal with pests and plant problems, first by selecting the right plants for the right places, and then when problems arise, looking for ways to deal with them that expose people to the absolute least lowest uh, amount of pesticides or synthetic fertilizers. And so that's the sort of thing that we're looking for, more natural solutions, but without sacrificing, you know, nice attractive plantings. What's exciting too is urban ecology is a very new field and NYU is the perfect place to study it. It's, it can't be any more urban than NYU. We have several sites where we've really incorporated this, this new thinking on, la on urban landscaping. So we're here at the Green Roof. This is one where we used a lot of native plants that you don't typically see on green roofs. Other sites with Mercer Plaza, which was installed above the new cogeneration plant on Mercer Street between 3rd and 4th Street. I think that's a great example of having a balance between you know, the man-made and the natural that is also about the latest thinking in, uh, in landscape uh, urban ecology. So our, our approach, our natural systems approach of, uh, of urban landscaping here at NYU fits in with the aims of urban agriculture even in places where we're not specifically growing edibles. And the way we do that is we use native plants to support pollinators, but we also, whenever we get the chance, use a plant that happens to have edible parts and we use them just in regular landscaping, not because they're edible, but because they also have ornamental value. And right here on the grain roof, one of the best flowering plants in the spring is, is chives, which, which are also edible. Whatever we can do to support native bees will help set us up for a lot of these grand ideas that people are having now for, for urban agriculture. People always forget the, the pollinator part of agriculture, but that's really vital. So if we can plant more native plants, use more plants that support bees, not just as sources of nectar, but you know, just generally for, for, for good habitat, we're setting ourselves up for a healthier environment and a better one, a more resilient one to support urban agriculture. I think uh, we're, we're getting ahead of the curve. I think in certain ways, um, especially when it comes to integrating our grounds into the academic mission, I think that's not something you, see, you typically see at other universities. There's usually a very, a very uh, bright line between academic and operations. Uh, but I think, you know, we've been asked to really come up with new solutions for, for the way we work and, and to really reach out to, to people in the community. And so that's been, I think, a, a great strategy for us. I mean, if NYU is really an ideal place to study urban ecology, and so uh, I think there's, there's a lot more we can do, and so I'm excited about that.